May our thoughts dwell on the Lord, on his holiness, goodness, love, and mercy. Amen. Well, dear heart dwellers, some of us on the refuge have been under pressure lately and feeling more than a little overwhelmed, so we have been continually praying for each other. Blessed Mother began speaking to Mother Claire to immediately address the situation at hand. Mother Mary began, Things are bound to get more intense as you get closer to that time. Understand, beloved, every pain counts. The pain of misunderstanding, the pain of fatigue, the pain of absence. All of these things intensify as you get closer to that time. Things are wrapping up, coming to a conclusion, especially the sick. They are being brought home before the very worst starts. There is more pressure on all of you, beloved ones. Handle with care. Invest yourself in one another. Be there for one another. Stay knitted together in love. Those who are crippled emotionally need to be uplifted and shown greater patience but they should know that each and every emotional and mental pain is applied to the salvation of a sinner. These troubles are little palancas that have been entrusted to you. Many graces ride on these little inconveniences. Although you do not see or realize the power of these little gifts, that does not diminish their fruitfulness. Oh, what wonderful surprises await you in heaven! Nothing that you suffer is ever wasted, ever. The Lord makes use of it all, and you will not lose your reward. Only try to offer them in love and not bitter inconvenience. You know that thousands around the world are suffering much worse. Your life here is blessed by comparison. Do not allow the devils to sow disquietness, nor provoke you to complaining. How blessed you are to be messengers and apostles of the Most High God of mercy. How wonderful is your life assignment. These tests only increase your virtue, especially when you bear these things in humble submission. You are being crafted into a fine vase to carry the living waters forth. You are examples to others. That is why it is especially important to be overflowing with thankfulness to inspire others. They will look at you and say, Look, their clothing is poor and simple. They don't have a car or a house, but they are happy, even joyful. Your example shines and glows, giving off light to this very dark world. As you learn humble submission, that light increases. Make no mistake, They see that light, they feel that light, and it leaves a clear, unspoken impression in their being. It is a witness to the fact that you have found the truth and are living in it. So much darkness all around, Claire. When light comes, they feel it. Hope enters in, and they begin to consider God, that perhaps he does love them, that perhaps he will guide Speak and protect them. Souls now are riddled with fear. They live in fear from morning to morning, never quite finding peace and rest, always medicating with television and food. When you come to their door smiling with gifts, it makes them forget their plight, even if only for just a few minutes. And that was the end of Blessed Mother's message. Be the light, dear ones, and let the light of Christ shine on all around us to deliver those who suffer from sorrow, sadness, and every kind of bondage, and pray that they will be redeemed and added to the kingdom of God.